Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Let's start with problem 4.6. The statement of problem is that knowing that the couple shown x in a vertical plane determine the stress at point A and point B. So this is the beam, uh, rectangular beam having two holes and the dimension of this cross section is given and, and the movement in vertical plane is also given. It will tend to bend the beam like this way. There, so you have to find the stresses at point A and point B. So given data is that you have movement value that is 2.8 kilonewton into meter. You have to find stress at point A and B sigma A. Your first part is part A is this and you have to find stress at point B solution. As we know that stress at any point can be found by using formula minus m into y divided by i where m is the moment, y is distance from neutral axis to the point where we want to find the stress and i is the moment of inertia. So let's start finding the moment of inertia for this cross section. As we know that uh, this is a rectangular in, in cross section having width 120 mm and ha total height is 60 mm. So if you pass the centroid from the center of this, so this is your neutral axis or centroidal axis. And you have to find the stress at point A. So this, your, this is your YA and this is your YB. And as we know that this stress is M minus for point A, the stress at point A will be minus M into YA divided by I. And for stress at point B, that is equal to minus M into YB over I. So in both cases, we have to find I. Now I for this upper figure rectangular cross section that will be equal to first we will find the moment of inertia for this rectangular and we will then subtract the moment of inertia of these two holes. So that will be equal to 1 over 12. What is the value of B? That is 1, 120 millimeter. So in meter it will be equal to 0 0.120 and its height is 0 0.0 6. Clear? Minus as there are two holes, so it will be 1 over 12 into 2 hole multiplied by minus uh, multiply by pi by 4 r square and the r is for the single hole is 20. So that will be equal to 20 to power 4. So again, if you solve this, so the value of I for the upper cross section will be 2.1391 into 10 to the power minus 6 mm 4. So now we have calculated the value of I. So we will just go to this formula. So part A is sigma A. We have to find sigma A. So M uh, sigma A is equal to M Y A over I. So moment is given. Moment is given. So sigma A will be equal to moment is actually 2.8 kilonewton. So that will be 2.8 into 10 raised to power 3 newton into meter. The now you can see what is YA. YA is equal to 0 0.3, 0 0.03. Clear because it is 30 millimeter. So distance of uh, distance from neutral axis to the point where you want you are interested to find the stress. So this is YA and this is equal to 0 0.03 meter divided by I and I is 
2.139 into 10 to the power minus 6. So I forget to put the minus sign and as y is positive, so this sigma a will be equal to minus 39.3 mega Pascal. So it means that point A is under compression. So it is actually compression. There. Now we will move toward part B that is have find the stress at point B. Again stress at point B is equal to minus M into YB over I. Now you can see that this YB is downward distance from centroidal axis to the point and this is the point. So this distance is actually the radius and the radius is 20 millimeter but it is downward so YB will be counted as negative. So again minus into 2 point I also forget so minus 2.8 into 10 to the power 3 multiply by y is actually minus because it is downward so it is 0. Point minus 0. 0.02 divide by i which is 2.1391 into 10 to the power minus 6 so if you calculate again stress at point b that comes out to be 26.2 mega pascal so this mean that uh, the stress at point B is in tension. So I will show you if you recall the previous concept whenever a beam is under mm, uh, bending movement uh, so the stress at concave portion is in the, the points at concave portion is in uh, compression while the points at convex portion is under tension. So at point B, B will lie over definitely over here and A point lie over here. So this point is in tension and this point B is in uh, this point B is in tension while point A is in tension. So this was all about solution of problem 4.6. Thank you for watching the video. If you, if you have any question you can ask in comment section.